Freaky Freaky Table. All right, back in 2020, we had a problem with our artists not releasing songs. If I was half of 2020, in June 2020, there were no songs, no hit songs, no albums, no EPs from any of our artists. Fast forward to 2022, we are in July, and there are so many albums, so many EPs, great singles, great videos, and we are all here to give you updates on music from 237. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Freaky Table. My name is Joan Gumba. Kuo is here. But Yana, unfortunately, is not here. Shout out to you, Yana, wherever you are. But we have, sitting in for him, we have stand-up comedian and MC Don Chewule is in the building. How are you? Wow, okay, so many. Uh, then <laughs> influencer. <laughs> you are influencing the green. Today I'm a fashion, I'm a fashion influencer. I'm influencing influence the green, the green nerd here. <laughs> we are green influencers. Man, this green wing is very nice. Yeah, thank you, thank you. You look cool. Yeah, this is big one. Thanks, then. <laughs> wow, yeah, that's true. This is big one. You look great. I love it, love it. Casual green. Dutch influencer. Mm, love it, love it. You look nice. Welcome, Don. Uh, thank you, thank you, you thank you for having me. It's always a pleasure to be here. I know, right? Always. 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 Ah, thank you for accepting our invitation. <laughs> Yana, please don't come back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, know, I, I don't know what you're doing, but what you're doing, just keep doing it, please. <laughs> I don't miss you. <laughs> Anything you're doing, just keep doing it. I'm here. At least I'm representing the beard gang, the white, in, the yellow, in the yellow format. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, guys, look like you could go in a video. Yeah, I don't know what I don't know what I don't use it. I don't use it. What am maximizing the, our potentials? You know, video we can be, we can be video. Is it video <laughs> jukeboxes or video vixens? I don't think it's the female. The female. I don't know how they call the male people. No, please, artists. Yeah, yeah. we're available. I'm available. Yeah. Thank you for selling my market. Uh, <laughs> oh, you want my first video? They'll call me. I'll give you thirty percent. Yeah, man, no. <laughs> I've been, I've been a number of videos though. You know, <laughs> no, but no, 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 I've been no, as a longer. No. Remember you, oh, Leslie? Yes. yes. Yeah, ah, okay. yeah. And as if earlier, I've, I've been on oh, three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Including Young Time. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, so speaking about music videos, Stanley Eno, one of Cameron's biggest music exports, has dropped the visuals of his most anticipated single, Papa. Ha. I need to take my time to pronounce this word. Para, pari, paro. It's a long trend, so you need to take your time. <laughs> Para, pari, paro. A song produced by the legendary Grammy Award winner, Sto Scott Storch. All right, so the video is finally out and the fans are talking about it. In fact, one fan called it legendary. Another fan called, said Stanley Enor is a legend. Another one said, in fact, he's, now that video solidifies him as Cameron's number one hip hop artist. Guys, where do you people start? By the way, that song, eh? That video, I don't know about the, the song. First of all, I heard a Nigerian, um, media person, radio host, um, analyze the song. I was very, very shocked that that kind of song was coming from Cameroon. He was like, Oh my God, the keys on this song, the this, you know, he was trying to, he's a music analyst and really gave the song a thumbs up about 8 on 10. He was surprised that it came up. Yeah, he was actually very surprised. That's very, that's very condescending like from them. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Like, what yeah, they from, from that? Yeah, always surprised. Ah, Masa, let them, let, let them let people <laughs> sleep, man. I don't like that. That's, that, 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 they're fun of that. I was surprised. What, what, what do they mean by that? The Cameroonians were doing better. Yes, of course. For the kind of audience we have here. I mean, you know? if football was not an indicator. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you. <laughs> All right, so Para Pari Paro video is out. Stanley Eno, what do you guys think? That video, the song, everything. Okay, so full disclosure, um, I, I have an ongoing bias when it comes to Stanley. Oh, um, it's, it's yeah, so <laughs> it's, that's just me just saying, uh, I'm not, I'm not there. Just putting it out there. Yeah, yeah. just putting it out there. <laughs> <For everybody. laughs> that, yeah. So I, I breathe and leave Stanley. So, yes. Um, I, I, but, but then he always he, he delivers. And the, on this particularly, the video is, is everything that you want. First of all, that song is an earworm. You know, it just remains in your head. It's just there. The, 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 the seems like like kind of balderdash. Yes, but, the know, thing, but it just it just it sticks just stick there. Yes. And Stanley always has the energy. The video is really well directed. Uh, there's no fat in it. It's just it's, it's just top notch Stanley. It's again growth. 
Yeah. Yes, it's again growth, and I, I, it's 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 really beautiful. I, I, I mean, there is nothing I can really say about it. It's standing, everything is. He looks good, you know. He looks good. He's so he's a very handsome um, 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 artist, Levers, you know, Levers. very very <laughs> handsome artist. Like like you have standing, you have local, you have teasing. We, we, can, we can use those three people as for, for competition. Put them in our camera as a very handsome, clean clean boys, you know. Yeah, so. <laughs> no, no one. Do you have an opposing? Well, well, I think that, uh, honestly, Stanley is one person, he's a phenomenal artist. Um, one of the things I like about him is his use of melodies. You know, he has this catchy, you know, phrases he always uses, most of his songs, and that's what keeps people, you know, entangled. And keeps people, keeps reminding themselves of that particular, of, of, of all his songs. You know, like, para, para, para. You might ask yourself, what does it even mean? You know, but that, that catchy, you know, melody keeps, you know, ringing in your, in, your, in your ears. But as far as the video is concerned, I, I think um, he could have done more. Yes, he could have done more. Uh, the, video, the video, to me, does not leave. Because, you know, when you listen to the song, Para Pari Paro, and you think, but I, what I saw there was more of, of sex and, the, 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 you know, girls dancing, yeah. girls dancing in the green, in the kind of the dark room. And you yeah. could use it for sex. It's you really good. That, that's the thing. Okay, that's the thing okay, 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 okay. Is like, like a ringtone in the room? But you could, you, you could listen to the, to the lyrics. It's like, you know, sex thing, okay. libido. He talked about libido. Oh, he yeah. talked about yeah. sex. Yeah. He talked yeah. about... Yeah. So you could use it in a club, in a bedroom. It's sexual. Yeah, yeah. I just feel honestly that the video could have, yeah, it could have been better than that. But that does not mean that the video is not good. Mm -hmm. It's good. But and also with the time that he took to... to to deliver they the video. More. He expected more, honestly yeah. speaking. Yeah. Oh, there was something I noticed. More, it was average. The there was something I noticed when it comes to views that, you know, I was expecting more. Mm -hmm. But then I went through um, Stanley's YouTube mm -hmm. on this thing and I discovered the, the views are not always They're not encouraging. 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 Yeah, like, like, I mean, like, yeah, it's, it's I, not I, like, I mean, I, I mean, there are other Camonian artists like Kusi, no, right? Artists of his caliber, like, trust they're, me. They're, they're, yes, I was, yes. Uh, seriously, like, yes. one yes. eye is still at 2,000 2, views and I was like, but, you know, why? I mean, Stanley is not there for everything he does. It's a lot of buzz. People talk about it. So you want it reflected in, yes, in that. that. So I'm like, okay, the Stanley army should actually um, uh, um, walk the walk. The walk. Like, just I think, I think go there and that, stream. That explains the, 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 the fandom that we have in, in Cameroon. Like, it's people, to, they, yeah, they, they just talk. Like, yeah. go and support this artist. Go and support this artist. You need to stream the song. Like, yes. The song. Leave the arguments on Facebook. It's not about and, online. Yeah. Yes. And, and this is not just because it's a comp it, like the competition and everything, but this is an artist. He's put out work which is which is really good. Yes. It's not the type of thing that you, they, they, they put out work to test your patriotism. It's good music. Yeah, you know, some people put it and then down, they start there because they want to see what you're talking about. Conscious talk. The conscious <laughs> talk. The song, the song no fine. The, yeah. the no fine. The artist will walk. So, but now this one is you have the complete package. The very fine boy, clean. Yeah. Video is well directed, clean. The, the, the dancers, they know they are dance. <laughs> you know. So why are you not streaming the song? Like, and the, the publicity before the thing was really yeah. Stanley is it's a, it's a one man, he's, he's, yes, one man show showman. Man. Like, yes, yeah, he, he just that. just does it. So I'm like, he's a greater showman now. So they, they need to, yeah, he's a greater showman, not only in Cameroon. Also, what I what I want to say is that it's also good to see our artists um, work with other foreign directors yes. because we saw that in Blanche Bailey. Mm -hmm. um, Blanche Bailey did a song with. I think young young Joe Boy, Joe Boy. and it was directed by for a Nigerian um, um, music video director. That's so we see, back. yeah, we see, we see That's now Stanley working with uh, somebody who lives in America, I think who, who directed, yes. who directed the, the album. I, I mean, the video. So it is really nice to see them try other talents. It's don't just yeah. be boxed in Cameroon yeah. and try, yeah. It's really good. That's what it, I do. It gives it a, a, a different flair. A different flair. Uh, actually, you can yes. see, you can, you can, you can feel it. Even it's right particularly there. this uh, Pari 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 Paro. If you if you listen to the song, you will find out that there is a lot of you know the keys are changing. If it was a Cameroonian, I'm not saying that Cameroonian presenters are not good. But uh, yeah, but when you get the drums, the keys, everything, everything. I mean, we're talking about Scott Storch. Are you serious? That guy has produced yeah. Nelly, all sorts of like. He's a Grammy winner. So I mean, you no, just no, feel. You can feel it. Yes, no, you can feel it. Sometimes and it's that our songs are just too layered with, yeah. with and, and sounds. And the thing about it, I noticed, boom, 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 that, I, I noticed about the song also, you have, you have Stanley doing reggae in the song. He had, he had R&B in the song. He sings rap in the song. It's like everything else is just... It's like, like the, it's, the cocktail of... Yeah. A cocktail of every talent he has as far as music yeah. is great. Great job, Stanley. It's a para para of... Yeah, of, 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 of talent. <laughs> 
great job and please go and watch the video it's on youtube available please go watch it all right oh uh, so we also have <laughs> so we have on the same day um Awu dropped his is is um really that song is really great um the visuals of his big song mola the video is out as well what is what a video what a song you guys opinion let, let me let me talk about Awu because i know if you want to talk about Awu, maybe we will not live here for personal reasons, I don't, I don't know if that has changed or. <laughs> but but Awu Awu is is one of the talents that when I look at him, I I, I don't want to use the word underrated because I don't like that word. It doesn't sound nice in my ear. But I think he 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 just needs the push, because trust me, I don't know from who because that's that's my problem. I don't want to say from the fans or from his management, <clears throat> or I don't know who to blame particularly but i think that he's one artist that he has the mastery of work mm -hmm. i mean his, his recent album i've listened to like two songs i think the one the one but mm -hmm. i think uh, yeah uh, and it's, it's it's a classical tune yeah you understand what i'm saying but why does it happen that nobody seems to be talking about it it's like it has gone under the carpet mm -hmm. or swept under the carpet an album of that magnitude you know with that level of you know lyrical artistry mm -hmm. and then it, it sweeps under the carpet and then Song that you know that you, you don't even want to talk about it is all over the place. So I'm like, do we really know what to consume, or are we are we okay? Because the people that need the spotlight are not getting it. You know, are we all right? Because the people who need the spotlight are not getting it, and then the ones who don't, I don't, I don't want to say everybody deserves a spotlight, but I think Awu is an exceptional talent that we need to do our best. Mm -hmm. to promote i don't know how it's going to happen but the song is, is mola is it has a lot of meaning speak speaking about promotion let me just add a little bit i think that what nigerian artists are doing and perhaps south african and Ghanaians, even abroad even the u.s artists what they are doing is that tiktok influencers <laughs> you are going back to that way tiktok influencers are being used seriously to promote music these days so i don't know cameroonian tiktokers help our artists you want to be paid, reach out to them, you know, negotiate a deal so that these things can be done. Because it, it is, it, because every time that we see a, a, a song from Nigeria that it's is trending, from it's from TikTok these days. It's from TikTok. So if our own influencers on TikTok, TikTok are not doing anything, I don't know. Because they are promoting bowling. Now they did a lot of work for bowling. Let me just butt in before a, a longer comes in. Thank you. I know I said one time that they should ban TikTok because of the nudity and everything. But right now, instead of you girls, you girls, you girls, you know what I'm talking about, you people, going to dance and be doing all those songs with foreign songs, please, please, we are begging. Those things you're exposing, put a Cameroonian song underneath and then do it for us, do it for artists. Because I think TikTok is now like the biggest you know, uh, 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 social media platform that is really influencing a lot of music now because Instagram does not do, do, do it, Twitter does not do it, Facebook does not do it. So mm -hmm. TikTok is now that that's taking over that. And I and, and I believe that uh, we have a lot of Cameroonian influencers or Cameroonian TikTok TikTokers. Thank God I didn't scrap that influencer word. Cameroonian TikTokers who are doing a lot and they can just help these artists. I don't know, like you said, if they want to be paid or I don't know, but they really need. Uh, the support they need from, to work together. Them. Yes, they need they need that collaboration. The longish, I will yes, uh, first first of all, I think that well, to me, a sound of heritage is the best album we've had this year. Mm -hmm. That like hands down, and everybody who has listened to it, it's like hit after hit after hit after yes. hit. Like yes. every song, um, they, they, as you said, the lyrical yes. artistry yes. is there, the musicality, yes. the vocals, the melody, everything, everything, the melody is, yes. is there. Yes. The producers yes. did a very, very good job. Few beat and, beats, and, and, few yes. beat and all of that. Mm -hmm. So really did a very good job. Um, I, for one, they, 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 because I don't want to sound controversial over this particular topic, um, that it comes to, I will, um, I'll leave a lot of things unsaid. Uh, but I think, I think that um, who, whoever was on top of the idea that Mola should be released as a video again had it wrong. Mm. Because this is a single that was released about a year ago. Mm -hmm. And that album has better, better songs. songs. Like Bonamusa. Yeah. Like Bonamusa. That, that, that's what I was talking like, about released now. Like, like, me know? like Melody. Yes. That could easily um, be the next hit. Mm -hmm. uh, um, bringing... bringing um, uh, uh, Mola. A video Mola. for Mola mm. is, is trying to resuscitate a, a dead person. I'm not saying Mola is dead, but mm. it, it would have been wiser mm. to bring because the heat <laughs> around Mola. They were trying to rise, to yeah, raise dry bones. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, to me, that's a type of 
I did not think that that was an informed decision. Mm -hmm. Yes, I don't think that I disagree with that decision completely. But again, I say I will leave it at that because yes, yeah, if for, I for, go for, too yeah, much, reasons, reasons, yes. yes. All right, but uh, you, you said you said something about our all, all of us agree on yeah. the on the artistry, on the yeah. mastery, everything yeah. about that album being great. But the thing about it is that what I've noticed in Cameroon is that people artists released release EPs and albums and don't do tours on those albums. We watched Salatiel practically went from one African country to the next to represent Africa as this album, you understand, to take Africa represented, you know, outside Cameroon, within Cameroon, had club shows and stuff just to promote the songs that were on that album. Awu hasn't, has Awu done any, like, tour on this album to promote the songs on this album? He hasn't. And, and, and these, things are, these things are really structural for some artists. Not that the artists usually sometimes, in his case, I don't think that he has a say on, on that because they, he will not finance the movement of that's, it, obviously. That's, that's he doesn't have the money. So you'll be thinking about the record label mm -hmm. or, or whoever is the sponsor of the artist and making sure that that can happen. And, and, and trust me, I don't... I, Hey, <laughs> my God! Hey, Alafta is uh, Alafta is, Al is pregnant. <laughs> yeah, so I just think that he doesn't he doesn't have um, the, these these things. He doesn't have a lot of leverage as to what, what he can do, do in terms of the media yeah. rounds, in terms of touring, as you've said, to push it. Because you, you don't just put out music and expect that the music, that music will sell itself. Yes, yes, it, yes. Will not, it, will not, it will not sell like that. I mean, before the greats like Beyonce and the Bonner Boys and all of this, became, there was serious marketing machinery behind, and the, behind yes. it. That that's, right that's, now, that's, they, that's, they that's are they the are media. the normal yes. route that they take abroad. Chris Brown has released a song. He's now doing meet and greet. After yeah. meet and greet, he's yeah. going on a tour to promote these songs from one state to So let me just say this, because, like because, because I, um, I used to be his manager. Um, th this is it. I, I feel that um, there, there, is a, a conf there might be a conflict as to the direction that he might want and the, direc the direction that the record label the conflict of interest. In fact, that's part of the reason why I just moved out gradually because I, I felt that as his manager that my input was not taken uh -huh. and I could I decided to direct myself to start my comedy uh -huh. to see whether by ideas I had I could implement it in my comedy and that people would see that it would work mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. right okay that that that, that 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 I love that I love the way that means so what you just ended with that's a lot of um things you're giving out there so like, it worked because it worked, it worked. Actually, so. it worked. <laughs> That's conclusion. Yeah. Speaking of <laughs> taking taking your music to somewhere else, Tizzy Panchak has dropped his JB album, Love and War. And it's a great album, very available on Boom Play. And so some of the videos have started popping out from the album. And he's taking that album, Love and War, to the US. He has a US tour kicking off in September. Guys, what do you guys think? El Chapo, the Kumba boy. You have to go first. <laughs> let, let, me, let, me, let, me, let me go first. Um, I think Tizi Panchak is one person or artist that has, you know, has this consistency. Yes. Yes, with, with, that goes with his, his, his name or his brand. Mm -hmm. You know, the, if consistency was a person, that person would have been Tizi. Because if you watch from the way he started from Blue Nation and still now, he's, he has been consistent. No dull song. All songs back to back hits. And I think US is like, um, it's like a second home to, to, uh, for him, right? Yeah. US. So I, it's just normal that dropping an album like that of that magnitude, going to the US is, is just uh, like an icing on the cake. Mm -hmm. So for me, it's a step towards the right direction. Yeah. yeah. So I want to say that you're a very smart man. I like the way you... <laughs> <laughs> I like the way you see Thanks, this You like understand? Yeah, yes, because you. I agree with you 110% <laughs> okay. on that. First of all, I like TZ. Everybody yeah. knows Everybody that. Everybody knows that, yes. I like TZ. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so Auntie Felicia too likes yeah. Tizzy. So, yeah, we know that. So <laughs> it's like Auntie Felicia is Tizzy's campaign manager. manager yeah. Not the type of campaign manager who goes to go and insult their <laughs> artist and, and come and say the people will use shock value for attention. Yeah. So this, <laughs> this one is a real campaign manager. Yeah. But Tizzy is, is an artist that is easy to, cam to campaign for Trust because me. he doesn't yeah. fail you. Yeah, doesn't. Um, I, I think sometimes, like for, for a while, I was a time I thought that he, he sounded a little bit deja vu. Mm -hmm. But I think he's got his mojo back. Back, and yes, yes. He's, he's, he's really, I've been listening to, to Love and War, you know, like, I love a boy, like, yeah. you know, life yeah. is love so, and war. Love and yeah, so I, I'm, I'm really Both keen on the seeing, point. I'm really keen on seeing um, where his, his career takes off after this, really, because I think that 
he doesn't really have he a lot again to prove yes, here, yeah. yes. but now he should be aspiring for something. Some great, yes, some international. You get yes, it, right? Yes. I think, that, I, think, I think just adding to that, I think that he also needs um, what I've been advocating since. Like, you know, he, he, he does some strong collaborations yes. um, because he has the voice. He's yes. done everything I for Cameroon. Yes. He has done everything for Cameroon. Yes. He sang for the girls. He sang the sofa songs. Yes. They, you know, yes. talked about yes. Izeka yes. and Geme, yes. everything, you know, he's done it. So now, move out do something else sound i don't know explore the world and i also i don't know why but let me just say this i also think that they should exploit this image more yeah i think it's sexy too oh yeah, yeah. it's like one of the fine finest artists yeah. to have yeah. and that's so they can do they, they should do more with it like See, that, you see that Bayangi boy. Mm. Yes, there is, there is uh, future. Wait, sorry, are you speaking as school? I'm going to ask that. No, 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 it's Felicia. Okay, okay. You, you see Tambe. No, you see that Tambe, so. That all of my children so scared of his voice. That's why I said, let's show up here. Yeah. 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 So that. <laughs> Yeah, oh, for my chatter sauce, clear out for you. Yes, let 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 no, but but should be too. Uh, so North America, apart, second yes. September, yes, um, September, Atlanta, yes. Yeah. 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 So, uh, Not at, is it Atlanta, Maryland? Maryland. Not over what kind America? For those who in, who are in America, please join Tizi Panchak on that tour. It's going to be really really interesting. I mean, that guy never ever feels. Never disappoints. He never disappoints. He's always who, giving it back to back. Whose tour would you want to go to? Because he um he has a lot of hits, mm -hmm. so you are sure of a good time. Yes, yeah. a good yeah. time, yeah. definitely. Yeah. Sure. Mostly sing sing along. Sing yeah. along. Yeah. 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 So, you know, who, just just real quick, who, if there's one person you want Tizi Panchak to collaborate with around the world, who, who would that be? Gonna boy for me. Gonna mm. boy. Yes. <laughs> me, I don't. I I think when I see TZ, who comes to mind as a <laughs> as an artist that the, the name I'll call now be. If, I, I know. I think TZ should collaborate with um the the person I I feel that is gonna that that chemistry, mm. you know. If TZ collaborates with that artist is uh, is Beyonce. Mm. By the way, Beyonce don't go cheat. <laughs> we will focus on <laughs> Beyonce if you go cheat. Because they, they, both, they both love yeah, love. Cheat and, you know. on <laughs> I think for me, it's too, if I'm working with a female artist, I yes. think that he should, he should do a song with Tiwa Savage. I think that that chemistry will be there. They're dark skin. They have something. Melanin popping, everything. They smile. You know? And then for men, I think that he should really work with Kiss Daniel. I've always dreamt about that collaboration for some reason. I just feel like Kiss Daniel is a hit maker. I mean, yes. that guy, anything he touches is yeah, like, to go. you know, yes. and the both of them kind of, you know, there's this um, thing that people, yeah, that they look, they sound alike. So if they, they sound alike, I don't want them to collaborate. See, I, I listen to Ed Sheeran and Bonaboy. And Bonaboy. I don't and, like that um, song. Um, um, Bonaboy is... Uh, Do you like uh, the song? Uh, um, yes, I love I don't it. Like I it. love everything Bonaboy. Okay, sorry, everything sorry. Ed Sheeran. <laughs> Yes, <laughs> but at the difference in their voices, the raspiness of of um, Bonaboy's voice and the, the soulfulness of oh, of Ed Sheeran, Sheeran. Yeah. it just came. Oh, quite yeah. mild. Even when Ed Sheeran, I think Ed Sheeran, uh, uh, Biba, and um, who, who is this now? Even Beyonce. Yeah. You have Chris Chris Brown. They've been really entering into the Afro pop sound these yeah. days, and it's really cool to see. It. You know, yeah. Ed Sheeran on Peru Para yeah. remix was really good. Yeah, a lot, yeah. a lot. Yeah. Yeah. They're yeah. moving. You know, yeah. Beyonce had the whole album. Yeah, so yes, she has a song with Thames. Yeah, she has, so Thames is on her, on her album. Man, that girl Thames is, is oh, dope. Man, she's on Black Panther too, singing the soundtrack. Oh, Damn, wow. man! Yeah. Shout out to you, girl. You're good. So speaking of, okay, let's just dive down to female artists in Cameroon. Mm. Daphne, nowhere to be seen. I don't know what is happening to her. But Asaba and Rinyu, they have, I think Asaba just dropped the EP, her debut EP. Like the, this, the track, like the, 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 okay, she just, track she, she, like she released the track list and the cover, yes. cover art okay. of her debut e, um, EP, mm. um, The Lighter. So, and it's also featuring her baby mama, Mr. Uh, baby, baby daddy. <laughs> Baby daddy, Mr. Leo, excuse me. <laughs> and Mike Monster and a couple of other people, Kamini, a lot of people. So, I mean, Rinyu and Asaba, they seem to be kicking off Daphne and Blanche Billy out of the scene. Out of it. I think there's a disappearing, disappearing <laughs> effect yeah, disappearing. Happening, <laughs> happening on the female artists in Cameroon because the, the ones that we know that are always there are seen nowhere to be found. They're completely gone out, of, you know, oblivion. And it's like nobody's seen it. But then again, it's all it's all over in our faces. Mm -hmm. So you're you're kind of like, okay, this is Daphne, this is Blanche, this is a Wube, this is, this is the people that we know, the names that we normally call. Mm -hmm. uh, but 
the, 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 I don't know if it's because it's expensive. Because I, I used to hear, and I think most record labels will agree with me that it's more expensive to, you know, to sign female artists. Mm. And the few that we had, you know, some of them did very well. But because of one thing or the other, some said it's marriage, some said it's what we can't find our diva, which we all know and love, Daphne. She has gone completely off the scenes. I mean, not even dropping, like, even just like a, a studio session. Sometimes, even, yeah, freestyle. Sometimes, even, even if you cannot you really, you know, you cannot drop an EP or a single or an album, just drop like one or two freestyles in the studio. Let's know that you are still considering, yes, they are still considering music. So I don't know what the problem is. I was, I don't all, all a collaboration. Yeah. Um, like even a, I don't know like it's like she's on this extended retirement and thing like it's it's really long like infinite, uh, extended uh, playlist. I, 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 it's really <laughs> it's it's sad but the good thing is that you know they are, it's not like she left and then there are no replacements mm. oh yes yes, yes, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. so yes. So she, uh, sooner or later, she might not be missed anymore. Like, Very much, because yeah, there are two people who are doing phenomenal, yes. Uh, when amazing. she tried to come back, she came back with Laba, oh, and the song, um, the title reflect back at our feelings about the song. It was yeah. all like that, that way. So they, but but I think that Renew, Renew has really done, Renew has really stepped in very strongly, like yeah, that's, yes. that's, those, those shoes. Yes, 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 yes really, yes. really stepped in. I like the fact that we are seeing. Does Daphne have an album? Does Does Blanche Bailey have? The Blanche Bailey, Blanche Bailey has an EP does, that is coming up. The, so they have yes EPs that are coming, coming up. They've been longer on yes. the scene than mm -hmm. than these people, but you see that when you already has. Um, um, Asama, Asama is about, about, about to drop. About yes. to drop. Mm -hmm. I hear that the song with uh, Mr. Liu is uh, superb. I can't wait to listen to that song. Asama, Asama is a hit maker. Yeah, yeah, she, she, she has to, to yes, she has a fantastic voice. voice. Yes, yes. So, so to her credit, she, 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 yes. she has. And a very, 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 she's very personable, very nice. Uh, really nice. Yeah. Yes, yes very, she has a lovely very, personality very, too. Very, so I mean, what, what else do you want? I, I really, I'm really keen on her, her EP. Yeah. Yes, I'm really keen on listening to it. It's nine songs, so I want to really get it. I'm sure she will deliver on it. I, I have no doubt because for the songs she's she's she's, she's um, um, released, I think there were four, five. The they are all been, and you can see the the, the trajectory that yes, like she's just she's, going. going Mon Bebe yeah. has done better than every other yeah, song. All the songs um, yeah, she, yeah, she's and done, and it, it just lyrically. I, I, I want to ask a question. Yeah. Why would you do a, a song, a nine track, and you call it an EP? Yeah, it's, it's an album. When I saw it, I was I like, I know why. Yeah, I was like, I was five like, tracks. This is an LP. Like it's nine yeah. tracks, yeah. or you call it. It's not EP. It's an LP. Yes, it was best case scenario. You call it an album. Yeah, yeah. Because for me, I I don't know why. She should not been First of all, in this country, we don't easily go for an album. Buy are you sure we even know the difference between an EP and an Just saying. I'm just saying. Yeah, but but I think that I think that you would have gone for an album. An album, yeah. yeah because album. what are you testing the water with? She already has a lot of songs, songs out there. She's cementing her place. Yeah. Because if you take the, the three songs that she, she's done already and add it to this night, that's a whole that's, that's a whole album. Put the three as bonus and then wow. the seven new. I don't like the fact that she's working with Mr. Liu. Eh? I love it. I don't I'll be proud of that. Yes, I, I like it. She's always been out of all the drama. Uh, you know, Mr. Liu has always been taking bullets. Yeah, I know. Straight from, bullets. From, 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 yeah, from, overseas. Yes, but, but I like the fact Across that she's, the, 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 she's doing it. Yeah, she's it's, doing. it's quite unfortunate Daphne is not there. I see Blanche Bailey trying to make some moves. Yeah, Blanche is making some moves. She, um, she has the ambassador she with done the, Shivas. She did the, the thing in Canada. Yeah, she has a tour. A yes. uh, music tour in Canada. Just also, I think she has a show in the UK. Coming up in August, but yeah, yeah so she's 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 there. She's she's, she's there. Let's At least see. She's I'm, there. I'm waiting to see her own EP. Yeah. The thing is, the, the thing about Blanche Billy is Blanche Billy is also a hit maker. Yeah. It, it's just she acts like Shadi. You know Shadi, the artist. Yes. Like yes. you 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 you, yeah, should, you just, should do a should do a song. Just pop, goes and opens a, a, a restaurant. A restaurant oh, yeah. or hair salon, <laughs> spa, and then, buy a new car. <laughs> Rent in Buya, live from Buya, go to Douala before she comes and we move the next one. Next one. So, yeah. Blanche, do you want to present it? No, because I have to feel it for more. Move that in. <laughs> Please, artists who have album. Because you, everybody knows that Blanche Bailey is one of the artists of my life. You know? yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah, I love her. I, I, I can die she's for her, good, but she's good. She, she's she, good. She, she, she torments me a lot. I mean, that time, like, the, the gap is just too long. You, I think she takes, too, she takes her time, just like a woman doing makeup. Yeah, oh gosh. Yeah. Anyway, speaking about albums that have not come out, I mean, um, Kosi, I remember, nice talked nice. about <laughs> talked nice. about Genesis. I think that we are in, in Deuteronomy at this point. Because it's kind of like, no, dude, man, like seriously. That Genesis is coming in now, which time? And a very good on that single. Yeah. Um, 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 Can't you realize, Can't you realize, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, really Danceable. Cool, danceable. 
doing very well. Do you think it's monotonous? Um, no, I, I, I think I, it's almost the same. I, thing. I think it's 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 in sync with with what he's doing. I don't think this is my personal opinion. Mm -hmm. I don't think of Kosi as an artist that will be seen as a legend. Mm -hmm. I see him as a hit artist. Yes, the one who can who can. At least not one is one that. But will not yes. necessarily do music yes, that will, that will be, evergreen. You get that it. will live forever. But but mm -hmm. I think that he's a type of artist that would stay relevant for a very long but time. Don't you, think, don't, you, don't you envisage a switch, like probably mm -hmm. your time when we switch like Mr. Leo? I hope. Mm -hmm. Okay, but I hope that... <laughs> <laughs> John, what was that I hope, I hope. I hope that he can make his... He can make his... Yeah, his swift. But for swift. now, I see yeah, Kosi yeah, as... Exactly. You know, look, see, um, Kosi has more hits than Salate can ever even no, count. No, he's a hit, yeah. But, but, but in terms of... In terms of who you would, you would look... Yes. You you look you know you feel Posterity, like yes, yes you feel like oh mm -hmm. Salatel has more of a, the legendary feel sounds, yes, around, yeah. around him that's and everything so I see I see him as a hit maker I think that perhaps it might become a time so he reminds me a lot of Acorn <laughs> mm. <laughs> you know, we'll we'll he does it and then yes, the next song yeah, comes and all of that like you when you listen to the song after a while okay but um, but I think that for now he's young. Yeah, yeah. Um, he still has a lot of energy. Around. Yes, yes, he can yes, play yes. around. He can, mm -hmm. he can do all the hits. And then sometime will come when he can actually segue and start doing the songs that will actually become legendary. He has a few songs that would last a, l a long time, but I, I don't see him as as mm -hmm. the type of person who keeps who does music that is supposed to stay forever, forever yeah. in in your mind. Mm -hmm. yes. I, I, I think I think one, well, I think when you do those kind of songs is when you sing when you have theme songs songs yeah. that touch things like that yeah. touch maybe yeah, courses yeah. that go campaigns kind of that go with this. Yeah. So that's so when people now just will feel always good. remember this one is just the feel, feel good, good music but like, but I like dance it. and I like it too because, because there was a time when uh, our music was just made up of people complaining yeah. of people hit that they are not songs they are not dance so so yes and everything so when 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 he comes up, it's always like when when Kosi is about to drop music. In my mind, it's always like this is a, this is like a new beginning for me in terms of happiness. Yeah. Because they, they always have everything. It is it is the melody. It is the comedy. Yeah. It is how the concept is delivered. Yeah, yeah. It, is dance, yeah, dance deep. Deep. Yeah, it is never deep. It is never deep. It is not something that you no, sit and you want never, to. You, you're like it touched me. Like, you remember me about that? My relationship we broke. No, no, no. no. <laughs> you take it to to show the person that you're broken up with that you are still alive. <laughs> yes. yes. They, dance they and enjoy. Yes. Yes. Dance and yes. enjoy. Yes. I like him like that. We don't have a lot of hit makers like that. So no, I like. Don't. No, we don't. Hey, we don't. Anyway, so, so lots of stuff have been happening in the music industry. We might possibly, you know, just talk really quickly about Full. Full also dropped an R&B album. Um, Loco has energy, energy yeah, that has been covered by so many people. TikTok to help yeah, in, in yeah. getting that song up, and it's really good. But it's off his record label, he's on his own now for now, and he's trying to see if he can drop an I, I think another EP or so on or an album. But he's washed out everything, uh, uh, universal from his Instagram, everything yeah, is off. So, is well, that and rightfully well. so. <laughs> <laughs> Then Mimi is another artist that we sleep on. I mean, that girl is on fire at this point. Like, she is, like, she's sexy. She has hits. She's on endorsements. She's, like... Right now, she's, like, the, the top female the artist. The top female artist yeah, that we have. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah. She, she, yeah. she deserves every credit and everything she's getting. I think she has worked hard. She's also an act actress. You know, she acts as well. Yeah, she yes, acts. She acts, yeah. So, so she she, does. she's good. <laughs> okay, the film never come out. Watch out. <laughs> watch out. Don't look post our picture on Facebook talk film. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm going to see. All right. All right. So, guys, um, I think that for me, I think one advice we have we should give our artists at this point. I mean, we're in the middle of the 2022. Yeah, Mike Monster but... also. Mike Monster. Mike Monster. How did I forget about the joke on himself? Yeah, Mike Monster has been on the, on this ladder. Yeah. Like, it's just yeah. ladder, ladder, ladder. The guy is just going. And yeah. the, uh, um, this one, the, 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 this this artist, uh, the, the Banso artist, um, Shalom Witty. too. Uh, Witty, Witty Minstrel. Witty Minstrel. Yeah, yeah, he has a song coming up too. Well, shout out to Witty Minstrel and Mula Mugumbe. Both of them are in the US um, pushing their music as well as meeting new fans yeah. and creating new, you know, new friends. I'm very happy. Yeah, very happy to know that these two cultural yes, artists yeah, are up there in America pushing the culture. Shout out to you both. And, and, th and thanks to all those who are promoting culture. Yes. Oh right? yes. All the all the stakeholders. Yes, please. All those in Dubai, those in the, in the USA, those in the UK who are promoting artists. Because I think that's uh, that's the only avenue where we can sell our culture, when yeah. it crosses our boundary. Because we can stay here forever and nobody crosses. Nobody's going to know that Cameron has music. So, I'm glad that... 
All right, guys. Um, so the music is pushing. We just yeah to give a shout out to all our artists. I know they are working extremely hard, and we are seeing the growth. We are seeing everything that you guys are doing. Some of them are not working at all, and then those that are working will push you guys. Release your albums, please. Put that ninety nine point ninety nine. Release them. <laughs> Mr. Sama, release that new. We are tired of waiting. <laughs> <laughs> we are tired of waiting, please. Mr. Sama, release that new. Even after one month, we'll give you some. I tell you, we we'll give you some. Boy, you're not love so. Take it back. Take it back. Boy, you're not love so. You're confused about picking your head. What do you think about the state of the of the music industry in Cameroon? When you, when you, I mean, what is your favorite song? What are you listening to right now? Let us know in in, in, in the comment section. In the comment section, and please remember to subscribe to the YouTube channel Decoded TV Studios and follow us on all social media platforms at Freaky Table. It's John, Elonge, and the Don. See you guys soon. <laughs>